Aha. Greetings. I'm outside. Um, welcome to the Saturday Soft Pop Club. It's the um, 8th of July and um, I'm getting ready to go to the Great Yorkshire Show. I'm taking the Soft Pop Garden. And I just thought, um, I was up this morning and I watered everything really well. So I hear it's going to be really, really hot. So I thought, right, I'll get everything watered really early in the morning. And actually, everything is really hot, um, you know, wet. And I thought, rather than lug everything upstairs and then have to lug it all back down again, um, I'd sort of just give you a, a quick tour. Um, it's hard to actually see it until it's like all put together. But you'll see different elements and I can point things out to you. Oh, hello now. Ha, hey, hey. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> oh, good. Good, thank you for joining me. And yes, um, please share, 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 share. Um, yes, I mean, the soft pops, I mean, there's all sorts of different ones now. Um, I've sort of quite got into the swing of it again. It's funny, I, I, you can forget, you know. You really can. Um, I say the knowledge is in your fingers, but you must practice. Because um, otherwise, it's, it's quite easy to forget. Um, two o'clock this morning, I was there trying to do a soft pop. I couldn't remember how to do it. It was a long swing soft pop. And I thought, goodness me, um, it's been that long. So actually, getting it together for this exhibition has been really, really good for me because it means that I've actually started making soft pops again and getting into the swing of it. Um, so I have to admit, life was very easy when, um, after I left York, I, I worked like mad at, in York uh, for three years, seven days a week. And then when I left York, I, I went to um, Grove House, which is the home of the buffaloes. And yes, I found a home where the buffalo roam, and the deer and the antelope play. And for two years, I was at Grove House, right across the road from me, and it was fantastic. And I just stayed there forever and ever and ever. But unfortunately, um, the buffaloes um, closed their um, their mansion house, and I had to find another home. So I'm going after the exhibition. I'll be taking the soft pot garden to Henshaws in uh, Nairsborough. And so, if you're around Nairsborough, drop in, have a look, see it. I hope you're well. I'm going to try and pop in to see you. Oh, at T G Y S. That's great. The green, yeah, yeah, that's great. Lovely. I look forward to seeing you. Yeah, the bus is the bus is already on the road. Getting some new tyres. Yeah. I haven't changed them in 17 years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, the bus has done 500,000 miles. Plus, it must have had its tyres changed at some point. But I certainly, this is the first time in 17 years that I've changed my bus tyres. But yes, the wheels on the bus will go round and round. And um, the soft pot guard will be on the road soon. And Monday, all of this lot that I'm going to show you um, has to shift. And um, I have to admit, I won't be taking my bus to the Great Yorkshire Show. <laughs> I'm following Steve's plan, just in case it gives them the wrong impression. Um, but yes, other than that, um, my bus will be on the road and the garden will be on the road. And I'll see you soon now. <laughs> um, yes, so, are you ready for the Grand Tour? Um, let's see what I can do here. At the moment I'm sitting in my hedge. Um, as I said, I've got about 20 feet of um, gravel here at the front, and nobody's ever done anything with it apart from put the gravel down. And so, everything I've had to do, I've had to do myself. Um, no point asking anybody, because it never, never gets done. So, um, yes, you'll have to forgive um, certain areas. Um, I'm not going to do about that. But, here we go. Are you ready for the Grand Tour? Welcome to the Saturday Soft Pot Club, Vincent. Oh, ho, oh, blue boy. Hello, love. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I'll be seeing you too soon. Hope your soft pot's doing well. Yeah, you make beautiful soft pot. You know, I mean, people think only girls can make soft pots. Rubbish. Rubbish. Boys make beautiful soft pots. Really, really beautiful. I had a couple, actually, that came into my shop in York when I was on Stonegate. 
and uh, the woman said, I'm an artist, I'm the artist. And anyway, he said, oh, well, yeah. And anyway, she said, no, you're going to make a pot. And so she made him make a, a soft pot. And you know something, she'd have seen in her face. When the top came down, his was absolutely astonishingly beautiful. And hers was, uh, you know, okay. And the look on her face, though. <laughs> He was well chuffed, well chuffed with his soft pot. It was love for him, that's for sure. He loved his soft pot. Yeah, I mean, soft pots are fabulous. Men, women, children, for the elderly. Um, fantastic for the elderly. And if you live in a place like this and you haven't really got a garden, I mean, I'm going to show you my carrots and I'm on the washing line and, and stuff. There's so much you can do. Um, and the lovely thing is, if you live in rented accommodation with soft pots, you just take it all with you, vegetables included. And actually, I've got quite a few good vegetables to show you. I've got peas, mange um, I've got sweet peas, um, I've got lots of carrots. As I told you, it, when you get carrots, they, they obviously think that you've got a field or something, and you get a lot of them. And I can't waste a single little carrot. So it finished up with begonias and carrots. <laughs> Petunias and carrots. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, anyway, do you want to come on this tour with me? Um, it's all a bit tight, um, but hopefully you'll be able to see. Just put this. These are my white sculptures. The white sculptures, by the way. Um, I'd like to turn this round. I'm sure, I swear, my... Go on then. Do it. Oh. Why is that not working? I don't seem to be able to turn it round so that you can see... Um... I wonder if I do it that way. But then I can't see what you're seeing. Mm. Come on. Well, that's a nuisance. I can't turn the, the camera around. I can do it that way, though. I can show you that way. See these white sculptures? They're not soft pots. Those are breeze blocks, actually. I sort of knock seven bells out of the breeze block and, um, and then paint them. This is my, my head, my, my head main um, centerpiece. And that white sculpture there, that's as above, so below. And of course, above it is love. And there to the left of it, you can see that's my moss pot. And that is my little crab apple. And I've had that many years now. And you know the crab apple? The crab apple is the mother of all apple trees. And that's why I keep her. I've got other apple trees as well, but that one is a bit special and this is my um foxglove i found that um it needs to stand in a bowl of water and i just have to keep filling it up it is in a soft pot that's again another more soft pot and then here i don't know if you can see those are my flags and those are my uprights and all of this just picks up and moves. The whole, the whole shebang has got to move um, with ease. And they have to stand, withstand 
high temperatures. Can you see there's my other little apple? That's one of my favourites, eucalyptus with actually a spring, um, an annual in it, but I really like the combination. And again, you can see the base. And this one is one of my favourites. It's some sort of pea family thing, I think. And it's flowering like bilio. And it's a really, a really, really nice tree, that. And this is a very old one. Can you see? There's moss on the, um, on the pot. And it's also mixed with gravel, because I put gravel in to give it some weight at one point. And the moss has just sort of grown round it. And here's my sweet pea. Those are my peas. And you see, mange too, mange too. From a small pot. And because of its unusual tensioning using tights, I've managed to keep it all up and nice and um, nice and tidy like. And here, this is my Edelweiss. Remember I brought in the Edelweiss? with the lamb's ears. Isn't that beautiful? And it's a nice pot too. And here's my pear. This is my little pear tree. It's got a few pears coming on it. And that's the pot. It's rather a lovely pot. Let's see if I can just get this thing to turn around again now so I can see what you're seeing. I don't know if this is working at all. Oh, hi, Steve. Thanks for joining me. I can't get the thing to turn round. Uh, I have to keep going this way, then. This is my well, by the way. This is my soft pot well. And actually, it's got a big bucket inside it. And it's very, very practical. But, see the stones? That's all. Those are all soft pots. That whole thing is built, built with soft pots. Um sort of bricks and you can build walls all sorts of different things um, with uh, with that no problem now here this is my bean and it's not a has been as you can see it's doing very very well indeed and again it has this unusual tensioning system can you see it it's all held really by its own weight and it's got white flowers Ooh, I always thought they were red. And this is together another one of my favourite ones. It's very old, but very, very pretty. That's a big, quite a big, wide-based um, pillow. And people come along and go, Oh, aren't your plants so pretty? But you know something, they're bristling. Yes, with um, Brillo pad and all sorts of things that slugs don't like. Um, I, I grow my garden without the use of slug pellets. Um, I, I go to some, some trouble not to murder them. Now that's quite interesting. That's a lavender um, and I put another plant in the middle. And I mean, it's sort of mm, coming together quite nicely. It's going to be a big fountain job, isn't it? And then... Here is my little Acer. Da -da -da -da. And you can see it's got strawberries in it. It's very, very pretty. And this here, there's my Seven Oak Bonset. Le Bonset. I call them Bonsets because they're liberated bonsai. And then, this, this has been... Um, this has been with me since right since I started at York. Um, it's the same plant, and actually it's doing really, really well. And so, yeah, that sort of that sort of what I've got in the the, the front bit. And this here, this is where my winter things are in this corner over here. That's where I chopped down some stuff. Um, very very happy 
little Japanese pine there. I like her, she just sits in the tree. And she's been painted and painted and painted again. That's quite a nice little hanger. Just hanging there. <laughs> there are my um, fruits coming on now. I'm trying to train it around that, that hoop rather than trawling around all over the place. Um, and then we're sort of back to the beginning. And these are, these are quite nice. This is just coming out just in time. Um, I really like that combination. I've gone for quite a lot of silver and white, it seems. That's a, a nice carnation. This, this one here, this one's wearing leopard skin. Can't really see it, but um, and this is Taget love the smell of Tajet. It smells like tangerines. And so, yeah, if you want, um, if you're still there, I'll, I'll, I'll take you through to, um, to, the, to the other side. And you'll see other, other elements. It's, it's hard to see the whole thing all together, of course, because it only really comes together when I'm doing an exhibition. This is quite interesting. I, the slugs were really going for this. Um, fennel and I thought nothing else would grow with fennel but when I put that in that little moss rose the whole thing just picked up and actually the moss rose is getting on just fine this is a very very old one I keep taking it with me to all the different talks I do and come summer come winter it's a little performer is that this is a very pretty one I think I brought this one uh, in before it's in a bowl. That's a nice one wearing jewellery. Soft pots wear jewellery. And this is a grass. What I try to do with my garden is I try to show all sorts of different types of plants. You know, it isn't just a... And you see, that's my little apple tree. It's got quite a lot of little apples on it. So, yeah, there we go. And that's... Uh, that's it. These little windows I make, uh, they're quite good. They can frame things very well. And my flags, don't laugh, they're the simplest sort of flag I could think of making because I desperately wanted flags. And actually those are just double-sided um, sticky tape. But having said that, it, it's gone through, they've gone through a couple of days now and haven't fallen down. So I'm really quite impressed with my flags. I, I have to admit. And there, see, that's my front garden. Now, that's my next door neighbour's garden. And sometimes I envy it because it's so, so low maintenance. I have to admit, you know, soft pots, you know, if you enjoy gardening, you'll, in, you'll love soft pots. Absolutely. And even if you don't enjoy gardening, having soft pots in your home, um, being able to make them as gifts, it's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing to be able to do. Anyway, hang on a moment. If you're still there, if you're still there. Oh, no, me, it's turned round. Shoot, can you see that? Is anybody still there? I know it's top right, Steve, but every time I press it, nothing happened. Ah, oh, can you see now? Oh, yes, yes. Finally, it's turned round. Now, I don't know whether you actually saw any of what I was trying to show you, because I couldn't see what you were seeing. But, um, yes, there we go. Quick, quick tour round, and then I'll take you to the other side. And I'm quite pleased with that now. I wasn't really sure about it before. So, yeah. That's, that's a front bit. Excuse the house. Ah, this is uh, the dining room. And this is, the, this is the back. And I mean, if I start, maybe if I start here, you'll see what I mean. See that? That's the back. And I've got, you know, about 
15 feet of deck there that's collapsing so I can't really have many plants on it and then there's just this little area here and this is one of my more favourite ones you know I've had Hello, sorry, I've just connected myself. I went too far. Ah, oh, see, there are my carrots hanging on the washing line. It's funny, actually. Now, that's a good example. The carrot on your right is, is glossy sheer stocking. The carrot on your left is um, just a standard mat. And you can see the difference, can't you, now? That really does show you. Anyway, yeah, there's my carrots on the washing line. And I thought I'd... I'd introduce you to the gang. I've um, got two different elements in the garden and it always comes as a surprise. There's Priscilla. You remember Priscilla? The killer cactus wearing leopard skin. Um, and here, these are some people. Oh, this is my cabbage. Remember I showed you my cabbage that I just planted and from a, a bit of spring cabbage that I was cooking. Well, that's it now. Isn't she beautiful? La 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 la. <laughs> and these guys, well, these are made from masks that I happened to find and then I incorporated it. But they're rather good, aren't they? Sorry about that. Um, I think every time I go too far out, I, I lose a connection. I thought I'd lose a connection. Um, oh, there's my Spanish dancer, um, the pepper, if you can see. There's a Spanish dancer. And I've got another bit here that I quite like. That's Time Flies. It's a thyme plant with, um, I found some, some, a fake necklace with, like, clocks on it. And I involved that in the soft pot and then put some feathers round and hopefully that will, that will, uh, it's got a bit of a sense of humour to it, if you ask me. Um, yeah, those are my stones, soft pot stones. Those are the most useful thing in the whole wide world um, for delineating any sort of area. Um, that's my sort of horn on a hoof there. There's a bit of uh, horn, ram's horn, that Chloe gave me. And I've had it for about 15 years, and suddenly, oh my goodness me, I found a use for it. Thank you, Chloe. And what else have we got? That's the angel wheel there. The angel wheel's unique to the soft pot garden. And what it does is it, it's a bit of a handmade spinny thing. It's got a couple of button wires actually but they're just the perfect balance and all you do with it is spin it and you get the two influences that are with you um, for the day and you can't get anything bad or anything what have I got there courage and honesty yeah yeah there's a lot of a lot to get together in the next couple of days um, this is my um, hanging wall and as you can see those three there in the middle they're just hanging on a belt and it's quite a handy way of um, creeping space space as you can see is is um, quite hard he's one of my favorites mum says no he can't go to the show but I absolutely love him and I think I might take him anyway <laughs> And under here is my elephants. Um, I started off with three elephants, and then every time I go to a show or something, or a second-hand shop, if I see an elephant that's sort of lonely and on his own, um, I, I bring him, bring him back, and he joins the herd. Spirit elephant. There we go. Um, these are interesting. This is a a wrap hanger. I'm telling you about making a drop hanger. Um, this just this just hangs um, and it's got see a ball on the end to counterbalance it and it just wraps you can just whoop, 
wrap it around something, if I can find something to wrap it around. Um, stick it back here. There we are. That's it, just wrap it round. There we are. Da -da 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 -da. They're quite nice. Yeah, oh, and the boys, I didn't show you the boys, did I? Those are the boys, those are just the painted ones. They're just crayon, really. But they work really rather well, I think. And I do like them. Oh, and there, that's my um, carnivorous plant. Very happy in a very strange little pineal vase thing that I found. Those are some that I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them. Ah, um. oh, I'm live again. Hey ho. So this time. There we go. Sorry about the disconnect. Bit of a pain that. Yeah, stick you back on the ladder. How's that? Oh, hi, Gret Gretchen. Gretel. You know, I'm so glad that you joined me. You know, guess what I'm wearing? Remember those gumbies you gave me? I'm still wearing them. Thank you so much. They're fantastic. Fantastic. Um, right. Thank you very much for joining me. Oh, hello, Henry. Thank you very much for joining me. Well, it's been a bit of a haphazard thing, but I think... Um, I'll sort of give you a quick tour, you know, round front and back and all the plants and sort of try to show you some of the different styles and different things that you can do with soft pots. Big ones, small ones, just no end. But they all start, um, every soft pot starts with making one, simple one. That's the first one that I always teach. And this time I thought I'd show you how to make a simple soft pot. But this time, see if I can get it a bit further and maybe make it into a hanger for you or something like that. And you'll see how to make a pretty little hanger. Um, I didn't, I'm, I'm banned from the plant shops, can't go anywhere near plant shops. So I'm actually very reduced in terms of what I have left to play with. And it's just a couple of lobelia, really. I think I did the same lobelia last week, apologies. But yeah, I, I'm, I just cannot go anywhere near any more plants. Um, in any plant shop, anywhere. What's this? What's this? Gretchen. Ah. <laughs> yes, yeah, still got them. <laughs> wear them every day. Thank you very much, Gretel. Every time I wear them, I think of you. Mm hmm. Yeah. And, um, do you remember a long time ago you gave me a card and it was beautiful and it, it said, it was a quote with from Khalid Gibran. It was, uh, Yesterday is but a memory, tomorrow is but a dream, uh, today's dream. And I'm, I'm going to get that written up and put that in the garden. Thank you very much indeed. Really, really, really like that quote. Um, so, yeah, all soft pots start with making one. And the first thing you need to do is get yourself a pair of stockings or tights. Now, you want the sheerest, shiniest, glossiest stockings you can get your hands on. Um, ask your friends for stockings and you'll get nice sheer ones. Don't ask them for stocking tights because you'll get really heavy duty ones. And they're no good, no good whatsoever. They just don't show any of the pretty stuff, anything like that. They look really quite funky. So, here we go. Leg, leg of stocking, the ring. Now have I got some gravel? Yeah, uh, am I taking it all? Oh, there it is. Hold on a moment. Yeah, soft pots themselves are really light. So if you're doing a hanging basket, anything like that, don't bother putting any uh, gravel in. Um, but if you're just doing a regular soft pot, a little bit of washed gravel at the bottom there, um, just gives them some gravitas, something, and when you do the bounce, it's got a lovely boof to it, you know. 
Right, I've just put in a little handful there of wash gravel. I always say wash gravel, it's just something to give it some weight. Um, but don't be tempted to put in marbles or anything like that, because when you do the bounce, you can do some damage to them. So, there we are. Let it stock in, gravel in the bottom. And then I've just got any compost that's suitable for the plant. It's great. This is just regular old compost. And in here, I've got three scoops of just standard compost. And when you make a soft pot, you need this. Soft pot go. Can you see it? It looks like chunks of gold. It's incredibly light. It's a natural mineral and it comes from volcanoes and they blow it up like popcorn. And you need this. If you're going to make a soft pot with or without a plant, um, if you're going to make a sculpture, you still need this stuff. You need to get it from my website. It's cheap. You get a lot of it. It goes a long, long way. So don't make the mistake of just putting compost in tights because it won't work. And if you call it a soft pot, it'd be awful. It'd give me a bad name. So please, please, use the soft pot good. And it's really efficient. Three scoops of compost in there. One scoop of um, soft pot gold. So it goes a long way. And I mean, if you've got, if you've got a plant that likes very little water, don't put in so much soft pot gold. Put in gravel or grit um, instead, and that will stop that compaction happening. Because otherwise what happens is that a good pair of stockings, of course, squeezes, that's its nature, is could constrict. And if you just put compost in, it just constricts it to the point where you can't get water or anything in. And the poor thing will die, a horrible death. So don't do it. Um, use soft pot gold. And if I've got a plant that's really, you know, like lots of water, or I think it's going to be boiling hot in the summer, I would add more soft pot gold. Uh, because what it does is it, it holds the water, holds the nutrients, a bit like porridge, it releases it slowly, and um, it stops that compaction happening, where it's just compacted down to absolutely nothing. So, there we are. I put one measure of... Um, soft pot gold into the compost and you can see it looks like a rather nice scrummy sort of cake mix and that's what you need right da -da. now when it comes to filling don't be tempted to do that and then try and fill it because it won't it'll just go all over the place and it gets right messy so what i would suggest is hold your stocking over the top of your bucket and then just sort of gently drop it in and hopefully with any luck it'll all drop into the bottom without getting too messy da -da -da -da. you know what i've done don't you I've, I've actually brought the stocking too far too far down it just needs to be over the rim really and then that's better that's it let's have a look Da, 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 da. And then I'm going to do the bounce. Probably put a bit more of this actually. Go on, I've done it now. Might as well. La 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 la. Oh, hello. Could you shut the door? Uh, this door, sorry. I've gone and left it open. Thank you. There we are. Got the stocking. Got your leg. Going to do the bounce. Yeah. Just bounce it up and down on the floor. Children absolutely adore this, you know. Soft pots are perfect for children. By the way, if you want a kit, these are the kits now. They're the just have a go kit. Ten pounds, and it's enough to make oh three or four soft pots easy. And it's just have a go, because my other kits, you know, you get twelve colours in them and a whole load of stuff, and it's enough to make. Quite a lot of soft pots, um, 15 to 20 soft pots, and not everybody wants to, you know, make soft pots for the rest of their life. They just want to make a few. Well, have a go. So have a go. This is the have a go kit, and they're available. I think Steve will put the link up. It's only available. The 10 pound have a go kits are only available on this on this live thing. Um, so uh, 
I think Steve's going to put up a link, and if you go to that, it'll take you to um, the place where you can you can get your have a go kit, and and of course, um, you know I've got I've got um, a website www.softpots.com. Um, you can always go there. Um, there's a shop on there. Um, it sells the things that I can pretty much guarantee that I can keep supplying. Um, other things, when it comes to decorating, other things, um, you see them, you'll never see them again, so there's no point in putting them on the shop. Um, yeah, it is a bit like that. When you see something that's oh, good for soft pot, get it. Right there and then. Don't waste your time. Um, because you'll spend time regretting it otherwise. Some things are only available. Some materials only turn up at Halloween or Christmas or whatever. Right, come to me, my little baby. Finally, this time next week, you know, the soft, pot, um, the soft pot garden will be back. It'll be back here. It will have gone to the Yorkshire show, gone tra-la for three days, and then it comes back home. It'll be interesting to see... Um, how I feel about it by the time uh, we get to next Saturday. Um, I'm there, by the way, on the Wednesday, personally, um, but the rest of the time the soft pot gardens just don't need that. I don't think I actually need that much. I've gone and overfilled it, I think, looking at the size of the pot, that. Um, yeah, the garden will be outside the Women's Institute, because um, they invited me to do it, and I think it's row F, and it will be there during the whole show, but I'll only be there on the Wednesday. Here we go, I'm just going to take my little plant, going to pop it in on the top of the pot, going to bring this right up over its head, oh it's good for demonstrating this, um, and then, always think of them as a bit like children, put your hand on its shoulder, take the compost and just move it up. There we go. By the way, when I was going round, that was a donut. I mean, that goes round, and I just go round and use my fingers and just squish any lumps that I may find. And if there are any lumps in the compost that don't squish, get them out because they will show. A bit like cellulite, it affects the drainage, and suddenly, poof, there you are, big lumpy pot. And so, there we are. I'm going to make a simple soft pot, cut the end off this, going to cut it again, get a stretch bit of string, going to tie it round there, la la la, going to tie it, just when it gets to the point you think, oh that's a bit tight, that's where I leave it, and that's where I tie the knot. When you make knots, anything like that, stick to using the stockings because your fingers get used to dealing with it, and they know how much it's going to stretch and you lie on knowing how those stockings are going to behave. Afterwards, you can cover the ties if you want, um, with all sorts of different things. But in terms of kindness to plants and um, efficient working, stick to using the nylons. Um, right, bit of material now. Looking for a dress. What colours were, were it? Oh, it was a bit of purple, wasn't it? There we are, let's have a bit of purple. And I'm just going to, this is organza. What you want when you're decorating materials, um, when you're looking at that sort of thing, what you need to do is, um, it may come as a surprise, but stay away from natural materials. Because natural materials will rot in between the layers and it goes all slimy and horrible. It's disgusting. Don't use it. Don't do it. The only exception I found is the colour grass and that's wonderful um, for many reasons but it is the only exception so um, yeah stick to synthetics feathers bead shells sweet wrappers milk bottle tops all sorts of materials anything that's got holes in it textures oh glittery bits yes 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 yes, yes. Um, talk about glittery bits ah oh, my my other bag's downstairs. I haven't got any glittery bits up here. The trouble is, you know, I work. <laughs> I film up here, but actually, when I've been building all of this stuff, 
it's all downstairs in the basement and the lighting is so bad it doesn't work down there um so consequently actually it's a bit of a shame really because i should have been filming everything that i made um but downstairs in the basement is where it happens really um right forget the glittery bits you can put glittery bits on there um I'll find some other glittery bits. This is the colour grass. It's just fabulous. You don't need very much. It acts as a grip for everything else that you might want to put on your pot. And it's what makes your pot um, so easy to um, match to anybody's decor. You can, you can match a pot to anyone's decor, anybody's new decor. Um, anybody's eye colour, favourite colour, there's just no end, absolutely no end to it. Um, right, let's have, ooh, cheers. There we are, and I'm just fluffing it up a bit. There we are. And then, just going to wrap it around the pot. Da -da! And that's the basis, it goes over the petticoat, and that's the basis of your ball gown. Um, now, when you're making a simple pot, it's worth keeping it quite close to the neck. Because when you bring the top down, sometimes everything will shift down. Oh, Steve. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Um, gosh, my nose is running. Right, so we've got that, that, that. And then we want more glittery bits. If I, had, if I had my glitter bag, I'd be popping little bits of things in that are shine. Um, in between the layers, underneath the layers, on top of the layer. Easy, easy. Um, right, I do not know. I think I'm just going to uh, take a smorgasbord here. Of just These are just bits of different walls that bits that I've chopped off and that's the to see everything is useful. These are just bits that I chopped off other things and I'm just plonking it on. I mean the wonderful thing about soft pot is that it's just a completely serendipitous journey of randomness and at the end of it all you think oh god I want a big mess that is it looks like um, this big floaty fairy going to a ball. But you see out of all that chaos when you bring the top down, suddenly it all becomes order and beautiful. And I really like that transformation, that translation from order to chaos. Um, I mean, one of the nice things about teaching in schools and things like that is, I mean, everything in school nowadays is just so prescriptive. Um, and it's very hard to find something that's just, just go for it, just do it. And softbox is like that. You know, you, as long as the soft pot's made right on the inside, it's a bit like a person, um, as long as they're made right on the inside, um, what they decide to wear and how they dress themselves is another thing entirely and absolutely a matter of personal taste. I learned years ago, never judge. Um, so, right, what am I doing? Have I got, have I even, um, I've got bangles up here. Hang on a minute. Ta -da! Yes, one bangle left. Two. There's a nice bangle. Just going to pop that over there like that. Tuck up anything, just a little bit of everything underneath that bangle area because that's all going to show. And then again, what we're after. It's more glittery stuff. Da, 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 da. Oh, have a little bit of that. Now this is something that, again, you get at Christmas time and then it's all over. A lady wrote to me and said, oh, have you got me more of that? And I have, but I can't share it because this is all I've got left. Um, next year, if I've got the money, I'll buy, I'll buy loads more. This is sort of Christmas decoration -y stuff. It's sort of glittery, glittery, tinsely stuff. Not quite like angel hair, 
this is the same, just a bit of that. I mean, people say, oh, when do you know when it's time to stop? And I always tend to say, when it looks like a fairy going to the ball. Um, let's have a look, what else have we got? Sequins. Yeah. Let's put some sequins on. Da 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 da. Luckily, there are shops around nowadays, and their sequins are really, really inexpensive, and they come in lovely, lovely colours. Um, it makes me very happy that they do. Because <laughs> I use a lot of sequins. And when in doubt, sequin it out. Right, the grand denouement. Here we go, going to take the top down. Oh, let me move that. Have to be neat and tidy. La 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 la. Ah. Right, going to get my fingers in. Sometimes, you know, it's worth just giving it a little bounce there. And then you get your fingers in, take it down, over the top, all the way down to the bottom. And you see it's very dark, isn't it? When you pick it up, you see that? That's where you grab it. Grab its bum, don't let go. Bring this down over your arm and pull it firmly but gently. Ooh, and that neckline, as you can see, you control how that neckline opens and how far that neckline will go. That's it. And then, with the other hand, I'm just going to shove up everything else that is below the level of my little pot. There we are. And then, I'm going to bring it down. And then, I'm going to turn it upside down. And this is called the twizzle. You can only do it with small plants, and it's really worth doing because it's what makes it all... All the colours really jump out. I'm going to take it, hold it close to its bum, and then I'm going to twizzle it, watch its head. And as I'm twizzling, that's forcing more tension into the stocking, making it as sheer as it's possible for it to be. There. Right. I'm going to grab that close to its bum, tie a knot. Now, at this point, normally, I'd cut it off and my soft pot would be born. But let's see if I can do this. Every time you put another layer on, by the way, it darkens it down. So there is a trade off. Let's see if I can undo this. I've just twizzled it all up. So. <laughs> Have a look. Give it a bit of a shape. And then, you know that bangle that we had? Right, what you want to do now is take a... I'm just going to take a chunk off that. I don't, want, I don't want to take any more off the length of that stocking that's already there. Just going to take a small slice of tight. I'm just going to give myself a stretchy bit of string. And then I'm going to force that that collar up and I'm going to force more material into it. Just going to pull it up into that collar area. There we are. And then I'm going to tighten up underneath that bangle. Ooh, ooh, missed. Almost decapitated my plant. Let's see if I can be a bit more careful. Come on girl, come on. By the way, um, if you enjoy this, uh, if you could share it, please, um, that would be great. Um, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be even better. Um, kits are available. And I'm working on online courses so that you can do all the different types of soft pots that I've just shown you out and around, um, all from the comfort of your own home without having to come and visit me in Nairsborough. So, ooh, 
This is, uh, I might just make it, might just make it. Who can tell? Right, I'm going to take this stocking leg, what's left, I'm going to take it back up, over the stocking. Ooh. I'm going to drop it in. I'm going to have a job turning that into a, a hanger, I have to admit. It's a bit on the short side. Let me see. If I just tie a knot there. I'll add a little bit there, a little bit of loop or something like that. Now, it's important to try and get it in the middle. And then what you're going to do, just nick it. Very gently. Even one little slice of stocking crossing over is incredibly strong. Soft pots, you know, are very strong. They last a long time, many, many years, and they are immensely strong. Rather like, actually, the women who wear them. They're soft, strong, supportive, nurturing, resilient, flexible, forgiving. Right, so I've got that. Gonna nick it on the other side, bring that one up. Gonna nick it on that side, bring that up. You'd be amazed how many times you know you can do this. Get really, really, really thin, really thin strands. Right, so there we are, got that, got that. Let's have a look. Now ideally, if I had somewhere to hang it, Ooh, I have got somewhere to hang it. I've got the hanger behind me, haven't I? Uh, let's have a go, see if I can just do this. Yeah, if you've got a hanger, somewhere to hang it, it's even better. All you do is tie another tie around the base of that. There we are. And this is, you know, once you've done the, this tie, you can, of course, you can decorate it, you can put a bit of wool, a bit of anything like that. Um, but, there we go. One little hanger. Now, I'll give it its final form. And my little soft box form. With hanger. Da, 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 da. Can you see? <laughs> lovely, lovely. Tidy that little bit up there. There, done. So, here we are. That's how you make a simple hanging soft pot. Da, da, da. And yep, Steve, thank you, you put up the link. Yep, don't forget to share, like, bye. Thank you, thank you. And I think, I think we've reached the end of our time for um, this Saturday Soft Pot Club. Thank you very much indeed for those who have joined me. I really appreciate it. For those who are watching later, please comment, please let me know um, how you're getting on. Um, of course, audio kit, www.softbots.com or get the special £10 kit have a taster session only from this link that Steve's got here so thank you very much um, we're off to the Great Yorkshire show next week um, I'll be there if you're there please come along see um, the exhibition and if you're there on Wednesday come and say hello so Thank you very much indeed. Bye for now.